Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are finally here. Week one, Tecmo Owners League action. And I have to say, I am excited and I hope you are too. We're going to start off here with a divisional round matchup. Excuse me, a divisional matchup. We are not quite in the playoffs. And uh, we got Bobby Lesher, his blue ball and blue ballers, blue ball and whatever. Um, <clears throat> he joins the league, his own league, for the first time this season. And you have to be really looking hard for some rigging because he must be feeling pretty confident about his rigging skills if he's going to join his own league. Um, and then we have Ricky. Owens, Miami Sharks. I like that theme a lot. Um, I will be secretly rooting for Willie Beeman uh, and and the coach Al Pacino. There um, should be a good one, Bobby. Uh, Bobby, uh, there's not a lot to say about him yet. I know he's the TFO champion, but uh, in TOL he ain't shit. So here we go. Uh, let's get started. Miami Sharks versus the Blue Ballin. Oh, I'll turn the volume down on my end here. So what we've got here is a, uh, like I said, divisional matchup, week one. Um, why not start with a divisional ma matchup, right? Here comes Icebox O'Shea to kick it off, and a monster will return it from his own two. He's got some moves, folks. He's up to the 30. Breaks a tackle up to the 40, 50, crosses midfield to the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, and Bobby will start off his inaugural season here in TOL with a kick return for a touchdown. He's got to be feeling pretty good about that. A um, lot of action there, but no time off the clock. So, uh... Miami Sharks will take a stab at it now. A full bar kickoff. Owen will take it out of the end zone up to the 10. He's got moves himself, but he can only bring himself back to the 14. And here we go. The first offensive play of the game is a sack by Buster Bunny. There was no time there on that play action, folks. Pro form here with the tight end at the top. Handoff straight up the middle. He will get nothing in third and 13 now. Looks like they're going to do that line plunge again, are they? No, this time it's a pass play out of the pro form. He's got a wide open receiver in the middle. It's caught by Frank Crawford, and he will have enough for a first down and then some. There's five missed tackles in about two seconds by the blue balls, and uh, he'll get down to just outside the red zone at the 21-yard line. Sharks, one big play. And it changes the whole momentum. Called play. Yondu will take him down. It looked like the quarterback was going to elude him. But at the last second, they took him down. Another called play. What is going on here? What did I tell you about the rigging, folks? This is not so subtle. Here's the pro form again. Fades back to pass. That nose tackle. Busts through two blockers and then takes down the quarterback for a sack. And that will take them out of field goal range, folks. Folks, They're not even going to attempt it. Here's a punt. And it is going to be in the end zone by a couple of yards. Here comes Bobby now in the offset eye formation. His quarterback takes off with it. He looks pretty speedy, if you ask me. Oh, that receiver could have thrown a block, but he just gets popcorned instead. And the quarterback picks up almost 30 there on the first play here we go up the middle quarterback run up the middle he gets three last year back in pro form again this quarterback sneak up the middle odd to call it multiple times in a row we're back in the offset eye formation Ooh, he throws it rather quickly into coverage it is picked off folks and atwater will bring it back just shy of midfield, and here we go. The Miami Sharks are driving now, and he's got a lot of options here. Wide open receiver deep. Is it on target? It is on target, folks. And a couple of divers miss, and it's a touchdown. We have ourselves 
A tie ball game pending the extra point. Willie Beeman was feeling it on that play. Hit the receiver right in stride. 7-7. Seven, seven. Kickoff now. Blue Balls returns it. This is a rather short kick from just inside the 20. And here we go, folks. Off to the races. Bobby's team will start at his own 40. Four wideouts. Another quarterback designed run here and uh, gets about eight. He'll take that every time, but you don't want your quarterback getting injured. Risky business. And uh, there we go. Another uh, 12, 13 yards on that run. On the bootleg. Back to the pro form now. We'll fade back to pass. The coverage is pretty good, and Madman Kelly will take him down before he can even make a choice. Let's see, can they do it again? Oh my goodness, the quarterback fumbles on one of those quarterback sneaks, designed runs, and Ed Reed will pick it up. And the Sharks will take over. That's the second turnover of the of the game for the Blue Balls. A run up the middle. It doesn't look like that play is going to work at all today. Shotgun now. 21 seconds left in the first half. He's got a wide open receiver. He gets it off just in time. It's not very accurate, and the defenders will chase him down, but it will give them a chance to... Oh, he's just going to take the sack. That's sad. Wow, that was only the first quarter, folks. I thought it was we were going into the half. So much action. QB design run out of the shotgun. This is my favorite QB design run. You get those blockers out there in front of him. Man, can you go far if it all lines up correctly. Fades back to pass. Beeman sees a wide open receiver in the middle. Crawford will take it for a first down after the measuring sticks come out. Here we go now. Run straight up the middle. This play is just not going anywhere. They should probably stop calling it. Here comes that QB design run. Willie Beeman. Can he do it? Can he get it? Oh, he cuts it back inside. to the, Now he's at the bottom sideline. Breaks that tackle. Touchdown, Miami Sharks. And for the first time since joining the Tecmo Owners League, Bobby is behind by a touchdown. This is what it feels like to be down in your own league. Doesn't feel good, does it? Doesn't feel good. Blue balling will get their chance now. A pretty good kick. We'll take it just inside the end zone. Comes out. The returner is obviously well paid, and he gets out of the end zone. Breaks another tackle. He's crossing the 40, crossing midfield. Oh, my goodness, folks. Is this the second kick return touchdown of the game? It is. Bobby Lesher's blue balling. Cookie Monster with the second punt return touchdown of the game, and thus far it's been Bobby's only offense. Let's hope that he didn't design his team as though the only t player to score touchdowns would be his kick returner. We'll have to see, folks, as this is only week one. We've got too small of a sample size, but we will find out soon enough. Here comes Owen. Short kick. He's already crossing the 30, 40. My goodness. This game might come down to the kick returners. What an interesting way that could play out. Play action pass here. He's got wide open receiver across the middle. And after a short grapple, dragged him a couple of yards, but that'll be about 16. And uh, Bobby's already on the, uh, sh or excuse me, the Sharks are already on Bobby's side of the ball, of, of field. And the tick will take him down for a sack. Here we go now, folks. Back to that pro form. If they run up the middle again, they will regret it. Uh, looking for a receiver. He's got one wide open short. And with a little rack, and he dodges a tackler, drags another tackler a few yards. He's down inside the 20 to the 17-yard line, folks. Here we go. This is a sweep out of the pro form down to the bottom sideline. He'll get seven. I think they'll have more luck running outside than inside the tackles today. Uh, throwing to a receiver that was on the ground, that's never good. Let's see what the Sharks do. Here's that sweep play again that they had success with. 
Oh, he cuts it back inside and finds somebody who's laying on the ground to tackle him. And this should be an easy field goal, folks. And the Sharks retake the lead, although modestly, a field goal puts them up 17 to 14. Here we go. 153 left in the first half. This I'm sure of this time. And here comes Bobby's kick returner, carrying his whole team just about to midfield. Wow, that QB designed run. Oh, and the fumble goes right out of bounds. He got lucky there. Out of bounds. 131 to go in the first half. Four wideouts now. Bobby's getting aggressive with that QB bootleg run. Oh, after a broken tackle, Bobby will retake the lead. So thus far, Bobby's team has two kick return touchdowns and a designed bootleg from about the 30-yard line gets him his third touchdown of the game, bringing them to 21 points and a four-point lead over the Sharks, who will have just enough time for a handful of plays before the uh, end of the half. Here we go. Owen crossing the 20, crossing the third, not quite crossing the 30. Not quite. First and 10 at their own 29. Fades back to pass. You know, it's interesting there on this play, the quarterback stands and still for a couple of seconds before he goes back into his drop back. I don't know if that means he didn't put any speed in his quarterback, or he must have because he has a QB design run. It's very strange. It looks like he's about to get sacked every time. Uh, terrible throw by Willie Beeman there. Here's here's a motion play. Haven't seen this play. Oh, there we go. Just runs straight up the middle. Getting nowhere. Here comes the field goal, folks. This one looks good if you ask me. It is, oh, off the rough, upright and bounces away. Must have been just a hair off. And here comes Bobby with his QB design run himself. Oh, this is going to take all the time off the clock, but he will get a first down. And here we go to halftime, folks. I want to take this time to thank Bobby once again for all of his hard work. This is so much fun. I miss it every time the seasons end. Look forward to week one of next season for weeks and months until it happens. Thank you again, Bobby. Thank you to all that helped Bobby create season eight. And here we go. Owen with a short kick return. After a short kick, brings him up to about the 26-yard line. And here we go. That pro form, he fades back to pass quickly this time. This time he's going to run up in the pocket, throw into coverage, caught, popcorned. Two divers, my goodness, folks. What a way to start the second half. Terrell Owens scores a touchdown from Willie Beeman. That play looked like it could have been a disaster. He throws right into coverage. Owens catches it anyway and then pops corn, popcorns the defender after a brief grapple. And then two divers make this. A 24-21 lead for the Miami Sharks. And here comes Bobby's kick returner, his his entire offense, apparently. Uh, here we go in that pro form. What are we going to do here? Up oh, QB design run straight up the middle. Going to lose two on that one. Offset eye. Here we go. Can the line hold? He's got some options. He throws into double coverage. <sighs> Did not find the open man. A little shorter of a throw, but he was wide open. Here we go. Nice throw. Roadrunner will take that one, and the safety will help the defensive back, the cornerback, tackle him. So no gain after the catch, but first down. Uh, throws into coverage there. He had a little more time he could have taken before he made that choice. Didn't look like the receiver was fully into his route. This is third and 11 already. Big play. Uh-oh, going to get taken down for the stack. Nick Crozier, however you say that. 
And uh, Blue Ballin will have to punt down three in the third quarter. Still plenty of time left. Lead could switch hands multiple times before it's all said and done. Uh, very good punt. Uh, the punter just over pursues him and uh, could have been tackled inside their own 10, but I'll have to settle for the 15, which is almost as good. Incomplete pass on first down. Play action pass here. It's got a couple of options. It's short. That's the right play. Crawford takes that one for about a 20-yard gain. And the Miami Sharks are on the move. That's the sweep to the bottom out of the pro form. He'll cut it back across the field. Wise decision. The linebackers pursued well at the bottom there with some defensive backs. Almost too well. Cuts it back for a first down. We are just shy of midfield, folks. Run up the middle. This is the first time that's worked. Popcorn's one. Grapples another. Drags him for a first down. What a play there. That's the first time a run between the tackles has done anything for the Sharks. Not a good sign for Bobby's defense. Uh, Beatman will just take off with it. He'll get about seven. Second and four. Here we go. Play action pass. He's got a wide open receiver at the top. That could have been a touchdown, but the quarterback throws to the wrong receiver. Here's that play action again. Too slow to develop this time. Buster Bunny takes him down. And here we go, folks. Long field goal. This could come back to bite him if he doesn't make it. It looks close. It is off the upright again. And that is now six total points that the Miami Sharks have left on the field. Big sack by Madman Kelly. Four wideouts now. Bobby's getting aggressive here. QB run up the middle. Gets him back to the original line of scrimmage after a short grapple. It'll be third and eight. Fades back to pass. Looking for a receiver. He has one. He found him. First down and then some after a little rack and a popcorn. We are now inside the 12. Oh, no. That is so painful. The receiver fumbles it. The Sharks take over at their own 20-yard line. Last play of the third quarter. It'll be a sack of Willie Beeman by Buster Bunny. I believe that's Buster's third sack of the day. One quarter remains. Called play. The tick takes him down. Willie Beeman had a chance there after a couple of divers missed. He's backed up to his own one now. No pressure this time. Finds a receiver at the bottom sideline. Will get tackled, and it is now fourth and nine. So Bobby's blue ballers are going to have their chance. Here comes Cookie Monster. He's already done plenty of damage in this game. Uh, the, the coverage pursued him to perfection that time. It'll be a modest return, but good field position nonetheless. Starting at their own 36, Madman Kelly will take him down for a sack, leaving them with second and long. Here's the QB designed run, folks, and it's called oh, two straight plays with significant lost yardage. Third down, 22. What are they going to do? He's got a wide open receiver at the bottom and over the middle. Who's he going to throw to? Is it accurate? It is just accurate enough for the receiver to dive. Oh, if that ball was thrown on target, Bobby would be in the lead right now. Nonetheless, he gets a third, uh, third down and long conversion. They are not going to let that QB run to the top. Succeed anymore today, folks. A lot of pressure. That line collapsed. Very quickly on that play. Four wideouts. Here we go. QB run straight up the middle. Oh, boy. A lot of zigzagging. Unnecessary zigzagging. And now Bobby's going to take a stab at a very long field goal. Blue ball and for the tie. This one looks good, folks. And it is through the uprights clean. 24-24. Only 2 minutes and 57 seconds of Tecmo time to go. Here comes Owen out of his own end zone. Finally a good kick from Bobby's kicker. Good kickoff. He'll return it 
Gets about 25 yards on the return, but only a start at the 19. Now here's the uh, Sharks design QB run to the top. He'll get three that time. Very modest gain. A lot of motion. A lot of men in motion. Hand off straight up the middle. Third down and six. Here we go. QB run. Is it? Yep. It's lining up good, and that uh, defensive back at the top got popcorned. Laying the groundwork for a first down, and with 2 minutes and 15 seconds, the Sharks get their first first down conversion of this drive. And uh, run straight up the middle. He'll drag him across the sticks for another first down. The Sharks are draining that clock and slowly moving the ball down the field. They only have to get about 15, 18 more yards to be in serious field goal position depending on whether or not the Sharks pay their kicker. That's all a moot point now though. A moot point as a diving Terrell Owens takes the Miami Sharks inside the 20 and a field goal from here should be a pretty much a gimme. Called play, big sack, can't do that in this situation. Can't do that. The field goal just gets a bit harder. Um, wow, Bobby's defensive line and linebackers are really pursuing the quarterback. It's already third and 23. Let's see how they handle this. Another sack. So three straight plays going backwards. And the Miami Sharks will attempt a long field goal after being inside the red zone. Will they finally make one, folks? To take the lead late in the fourth, they do. 27-24, this one off the upright and in this time instead of out. And with 52 Tecmo seconds, Bobby Lesher's blue ball and find themselves in a hole. But this kick returner can do a lot to help him and he is doing his job, folks. He's at the 40, he's at the 30, 25-yard line. And he is already in easy makeable field goal range here all he can do now is hope not to take three state sacks just like willie beeman just did and uh this one here folks is going to overtime unless bobby can score on the next two plays one of the next two plays uh this qb run designed run oh my goodness are they gonna run another player they just gonna kick that field goal they are gonna kick that field goal i knew it was coming Ah, uh, Bobby must be kicking himself. They had time for one more play. I'm almost certain of it. Instead, it's a tie ball game. And unless something amazing happens on this kick return here, um, we're headed to overtime. Owen, not quite as good as Cookie Monster today. Bring him back to the 19. This might be the last play. Of regulation. Uh, uh, called play sack. Here we go. Is this that play action again that's slow to develop? Uh oh, he's got options, folks. Terrell Owens grabs this one. Oh, a fumble! Fumble Ruski! It won't matter though because that's the end of regulation and we're headed to overtime, folks. Here comes Blue Ballin'. They win the toss. They choose to return, and folks, remember, this is sudden death overtime. First to score wins. None of that contrived modern-day NFL overtime. First team to score wins, and if no one scores, both teams go home with a tie, and uh, this kick returner uh, is worth his weight in gold, folks, because he's going to uh, probably end this game before a single second comes off the overtime clock. And a Bobby's Blue Ballin' Cookie Monster Kick Returner. Three touchdowns today accounts for 70, uh, roughly 70% of Bobby's offense today, and, or a point scored. My goodness, folks, it's always fun to go to overtime. Willie Beeman played fantastic, comes away with a loss. Uh, and uh, Frank Crawford, 206 passing yards. Everything looks good here, uh, except... You don't see Bobby's kick returner. Without him, Bobby has seven points in this game. Well, folks, that was fun. Welcome to week one. I'm sure there's lots more action coming at you soon. This is Joe Shitbag Mitchell.
signing off.